Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the new Paradox Pokemon Suicun, aka Walking Wake, that was released yesterday in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I will tell you all the sets, all Terras that can work, EV spreads, as well as partners that work well with this Pokemon if you try to make a team with it. Before we get, before we get into the sets though, I wanna quickly give you some info on how this Pokemon is used, as well as the Terras that can work on it. This is a Dragon Water fast, hard hitting special attacker that works in or outside of Sun. In Sun, it not only gets its ability Protosynthesis activated, but its signature move Hydro Steam, which is an 80 base, uh, 80 base power move, special move, gets another 50 base power to it instead of being weaker in the Sun, making it a 130, 130 base power attack in the Sun. That, however, doesn't mean you can use this Pokemon as a regular special attacker outside of the sun. It still has incredible stats, its typing is great, and moves you can you can you could easily do like Hydro Pump over Hydro Steam, or even both in case your opponent decides to use it. When it comes to its Terras, each Terra has different benefits, different damage rolls, advantages that you can think and decide if that's what you want for your team. The four Terras that I think work the best here are Water, Dragon, Steel, and Fairy. Terra Water makes this Pokemon even more insanely strong getting kills in or outside of sun versus many relevant threats. King Gabi, Defensive Coldigo, uh, Cloth Sire, or even Terra Fairy Max Pedef uh, Garganacle after Protect can drop in two Hydros easily. You can, you, you're now pure water. Defensively, which means you're no longer, you're no longer weak to Dragon and Fairy, as you were before, but you aren't neutral anymore to Grass and Electric. This, however, is, is my favorite Terra because it's a nuke. It's, it, it hits insanely strong. Uh, next we have Terra Dragon. Terra Dragon is a similar nuke, but with different targets, I feel. With this, you can Oko mixed defenses Toxapex in one fucking Draco, which is insane. You can Oko Amungus, uh, kill through multi-scale, even bulky Dragonite, but it's worse defensively. You are now, well, you now resist electric and uh, grass, making things like Rorum very easy very easy to substitute against, at the cost of not being neutral to ice, like you were before, which is super nice for the dragon type. Uh, so yeah, it was super nice. Now you're no longer uh, neutral to ice, so yeah, not, not, not as good. Uh, finally, we have uh, two more defensive terras that I think work great, Steel and Fairy. Steel is able to resist both Fairy and Dragon, making it incredible versus, versus relevant threats that are, that are faster than Walking Wake, so things like Iron Valiant, Dragapult, and Rolling Moon, and you're also immune now to Toxic, so against Toxapex and Clots, that works perfectly. Fairy is immune to Dragon, it is a Terra that resists Fighting and Dark, so Close Combat or Iron Valiant or Sucker Punches from King Gambit are no longer that threatening, but the downside of both of these is that offensively you don't get boosted damage or anything. They can help you trade versus relevant threats and have great great, great advantage defensively, but on a hard hitting nuke like this, usually you want to go with a Terra that boosts your damage. So, now that we explained Terras, let's talk about the sets. The first set that I have is Choice Specs. Choice Specs is usually how you want to play this Pokemon, making it the nuke that is meant to be. In Sun, or in no weather at all, I would go with the four moves that you see in front of you. However, this thing can function extremely well in Rain 2, using Hurricane instead of Flamethrower. With Protosynthesis activated, there is nothing that can switch into its attacks. Everything is going to fucking drop. The insane calls that I gave you before versus Toxapex and Clotzar were not even in the Sun with Protosynthesis activated. It's like a Gen 6 Keldeo on steroids. You get this Pokemon in, click attacks, things things gonna drop. Not much more to explain with this set. Next, we have a really cool set that you can manually set up sound by yourself and activate your Protosynthesis boost. Instead of using Agility 3 attacks, we're using Sunny Day that with this EV spell is gonna boost your speed over special attack, but your Flamethrower and Hydro Steam also get boosted, making it work like some sort of 4 turns. Uh, some, some sort of 410 special Dragon Dance of some kind. This set allows you to use this Pokemon with a Sunny Day boost that it's meant to get outside of a dedicated Sun Team, which I think is really, really cool. And can function as a late game, late game setup sweeper or even or even early game hard hitting Pokemon in many teams. You can, do, uh, you can do Life Orb or Weakness Policy, but if you do want a Weakness Policy, it should be used with Terra Water and only dedicated screens, hyper offensive builds. Alright, this is the Eject Pack Walking Wake set. 
This set works both in or outside of sun and is meant to use walking weight as a pivot. You can drop strong Dracos against a Clotzar, eject pack into another hard hitting Pokemon like Choice Panda Roaring Moon, denying any healing attempts on that Clotzar and keep the full turn going or just unleash hard hits after. This set allows you to bring a lot more a, a, lo a lot more uh, freely strong Pokemons in with beneficial matchup while still dealing a lot of damage and have great utility. You could also eject back into something uh, defensive like a Defog Corvnet to use Walking Weight for finding opportunity to Defog or something like Hatter in Bounce Back, uh, Hazards, Toxics and uh, other status. Yeah, definitely try this set. Takes full advantage of both the great offenses and defensive typing with decent bulk walking weight has, making an excellent pivot. Here we have a very similar set to the sunny day one that I showed you above, however this set is meant to be used in dedicated sun teams only. The advantage this agility set is that you are dedicating your protosynthesis, your item and nature to maximize the damage you can do and only rely on agility to boost your, to boost your speed, when on the manual sunny day set you couldn't run Modest, and your Protosynthesis was boosting your, your speed over Special Attack. Heck, you didn't even have like 252 Special Attack investment. Here, you can have it all, but at the cost of running this on a dedicated Sun Team that is boosting your Protosynthesis, boost your Hydro Steam and Flamethrowers, making this set an insane sweeper. Next, we have the Substitute 3 Attack set. I highly recommend in this one to use Terra Fairy, so Infiltrator Dragapult cannot revenge kill you and you can get many key substitutes versus various threats. The set is meant to sub up against defensive Pokemons like Toxapex, Rotom Wash, Garganacle and turns that you expecting your opponents to click status so you can block it. You can peep stall the wishes and recover Salomomola, Toxapex and Garganacle have and you can also get away with a much slower but a lot more HP invested EV spread than the one I'm showing you. For example, if you invest in max HP, your substitute can often leave Earthquake from Clotzar or Earthquake from Garganacle. You can also use Roar over Flamethrower, use it kind of like regular Suicune, denying setup attempts from your opponent and fully take advantage of hazards that work extremely well with this set. Stealth Rocks, Spikes or even T-Spikes as well as knockoff support to get rid of opposing leftovers and boots make this set a lot more effective. Draco Balls is used uh, because if we use Dr Draco behind the sub, you will be able to hit once and be forced to switch. Instead, this weaker but more reliable Dragon Attack can still it, it can still allow you to burn uh, recover PPs from defensive Pokémons without having to switch after one or two attacks. For final set, we have Choice Scarf. Very straightforward set. Same thing with choice specs, if using it on rain, you can slap Hurricane to hit the grass types and be 100, 100 accurate with it. It's uh, meant to lure faster threats and still oko them, so things like Roaring Moon, Dragapult and Muscarada. Uh, it's a lot weaker but it has its advantages, and in sun or in rain, it still hits quite hard. If only it had you, then choice card would have been super good, but, but it doesn't, so I ranked it uh, I ranked this at last. So yeah, these are the sets that I think work great on Paradox Suicune. Let me know how you feel about the ones I showcased in this video, or if you have any other sets for this Pokemon that you think would work great. I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribed, liked the video, and commented below, as it helps with the algorithm. But but yeah, I hope I hope you like the new Paradox Pokemon we got. Hope you like the video, and I'll catch you with another one tomorrow. Bye bye everyone. Peace.